spooky, right? Like, I'm spooky. Look, I said it. I'm spooky. Um, so I just thought that, like, that would be super cute on a shirt. Um, of course, my kids like to take it a little bit further. And because they love Halloween, they like the idea of getting dressed up, um, even though we don't know what's going on with Halloween this year, I still promised them some fun and some dressing up into costumes and that sort of thing. And so it's time for me to start getting busy on creating or coming up with their costumes. And so we have a couple of ideas. My boys want to be um, from Disney's Toy Story, like Slinky Dog. <laughs> My daughter wants to be Van Perina, and I'm not even sure I'm saying that right. Um, but so I've got some challenges to come up with some really cute costume ideas. And one of the um, boys actually likes skeletons. So I thought for tonight, it would be fun to just kind of make a skeleton shirt so that I kind of have a backup um, if I can't make the other happen. And so I got a shirt for him as well. And I actually got one for my daughter too um, because they are twins. So they could be like little skeletons. And what I want to share with you tonight is this um, heat transfer vinyl, which I will put a link in the comments to this. So I know this looks like your average white heat transfer vinyl, right? Wrong. This is actually glow in the dark heat transfer vinyl. And I thought that would be super adorable in a um, skeleton look on a t-shirt. And so I've been kind of playing around before I hit the live button. And I actually went ahead and cut out on my uh, silhouette a um, skeleton file that I found. And I'm going to show you guys. Um, let's see. I had my tool here. and Oh, here it is. It's right under here, of course. I dropped it under here. That would make sense. Okay. And this is actually a weeder tool. If you guys are not familiar with this, um, I actually was sent this from Stalls. And I've got to say, this is the first time I'm using this tool. It has some pretty heavy duty weight to it. And I'm really digging the hook on this weeder tool. Like this is business right here. So if you're looking for a really good one, this is where it's at. Um, so let's try it out. I went ahead, I pre-cut a skeleton, um, what do you call that, like body, and we're gonna press it onto the shirt so we can see. And I'm hoping in a couple of minutes, my kids are outside playing and the sun is setting, my husband's out there. Um, they're kind of like having fun. It's kind of got like a crisp, uh, smell in the air. Do you guys know? It's Florida, so it's hot. But it's like for the first time in a very long time, not cool, but it's like got that in the air and he's out there grilling. So I'm hoping once we get this press, I know he's watching, um, that one of them will come in and maybe put this shirt on and I will try to get all my lights off. I have several here um, on. So we'll see if we can get this to glow in the dark. If not, I'll take a picture and post it later where I can actually show the glow in the dark features of this. Now, I just, okay, so I'm talking to you guys. I cut this on my standard settings with my Silhouette machine. Um, I'm not even hardly using the weeding tool and this is weeding very nicely. This is Glow in the Dark. Ultra Weed Vinyl, and I believe that's the, the name for it, the Ultra Weed. They actually are, those people over at Stalls are the creators of the Stalls Ultra Weed Vinyl, which lately has been my favorite go-to vinyl. I have tried every single vinyl, heat, print, uh, heat transfer vinyl out there on the market. The off brands, the brands that you know, um, the brands that are in all of the craft stores, and I have to say, this has been my absolute favorite vinyl to work with. I had um, someone reach out to me a couple of days ago. They asked me to create a really quick onesie for a baby announcement. And this, this is what I went to. I used it. It was done in minutes. And so if you have any kind of craft business or anything that you do for crafter, um, crafting shirts or whatever, this is... Uh, Ultra Weed Vinyl is makes the job just so easy and so much fun and I really really like how easy it really is like there's no frustration when it comes to weeding this now I'm going to use their little tool 
to go ahead and get into the little inside pieces and just lift this up. And it's really nice how it just comes right up. You guys know what I'm talking about. You've used the vinyl in the past and it's like, your machine appears to cut it right, but you've got to sit there and you've got to dig out like all the parts and it's just so frustrating. And this Ultra Weed, this, this is the Glow, but they have the Ultra Weed. Um, it's like phenomenal, like how easy it is to use. So um, this is my little skeleton. And so I've got like the body here. You guys see that? And then I've got like some arms and legs happening. And so yeah, this is a small size. Like if you're making this shirt for an adult, then I would re definitely recommend, you know, making it on a couple different sheets, um, just so that you can get the full length of like, the, you know, the arms, like the bones of a, an adult arm. But this was for my kids. So I am definitely um, going to try it um, with just all fitting on one sheet. So let's go ahead and test using the press. And then once I get done, I will post to you guys um, the, uh, the Ultra Weed product. And so I thought it would be cute too. I know you guys have seen it like all over the internet. Um, you know how they put like the little candy corns in the belly of the skeleton? So I got a candy corn file and I thought it would be super cute to go ahead and um, put a candy corn file in it. So what I wanna do is, let me go ahead and get that cutting while we press, just so I can, you know, kind of multitask here. So I'm gonna line this up, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut the white portion of my candy corns. And let's see, I just wanna make sure that I have the correct setting. This is glow-in-the-dark material, so make sure you check that. Um, if you're using the Silhouette, I know that it has heat transfer glow-in-the-dark as a specific material that um, you can set your settings to, which is definitely what you want. I'm going to make sure I have it set for both colors. I'm actually going to go ahead and also cut out my little ghost because I remember I said earlier I wanted to make a little ghost shirt. And so I just wanna show you how you can use this glow in the dark material, not just for your kids, but for yourself as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and send that to cut. And then what I'm gonna do is cut out the arms uh, separate from my little skeleton body. I got them to fit all on one thing, but now I'm gonna go ahead and press the little, um, skeleton body so look you can see here like this is the vertical thing and it kind of falls here so what um, a trick is that you can do I'm gonna go ahead and heat my shirt and I'm just gonna give it a couple of seconds just to make sure that the fabric is heated I do this with all of my um, shirts that I make and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn this okay um, to line this up on the horizontal part of the press and so this is super cute for um, an idea for your kids. And then, you know, what's really great about glow in the dark, like I would have never thought um, to have used this material before, but when my kids ask, you know how that goes, you've got to deliver, right? Like, especially if you're a crafter and they know that you're crafty, your kids think that you can make anything. I mean, I, I think mine do. So um, I'm just going to reheat again, just give it a couple seconds. And then we're gonna go ahead and lay down the skeleton body. Look at that, it lines up pretty perfectly right into the press. And I'm doing it at an angle, so hopefully I'm lining this up pretty straight. Right here. And then I'm gonna grab just a, um, a pr protective sheet. I have these, um, I just like to use them, but it's not necessary, and then Go ahead and I'm going to let this one um, set for the time. And I think my cut is ready, so we'll pull that out. You hear the beep, that means it's done. And I'm gonna pull this off. And I believe that this material is a peel hot. And so the last time I used the um, 
heat transfer from stalls live. I talked about the differences between um, what, what a peel hot means versus a peel cold. And so I'll explain just for a quick second. There is um, a um, difference between most vinyls. Now, most of the stalls vinyls, like their ultra weed, um, they have the premium ultra weed. I believe I said that correctly. Um, they peel hot or cold. The flock material, which is kind of like the fuzzy material, um, kind of like a velvety texture to it, that one and like the glitter, you need to peel it cold. Um, and the reason that is, is because it kind of gives it that extra few seconds to, um, to kind of like set to the fabric of the shirt. So I'm just looking it up really quickly. Um, let's see here, details. And that's what's really great about this. It has all the information on their site, which I linked where the press is. And I will go ahead and link the glow um, fabric as well. This actually has a stretch to it, okay? And it looks like, let's see, it's a peel hot, I believe so. Okay. And so let's go ahead and see what we have here when we peel it. Look how cute this is, guys. Oh my gosh, my son is going to love this. Actually, my daughter might too. I might have to make her one. I got them both a shirt because they are twins. So look at that. There's my shirt. Let me see if I can turn off my main light. Let me see. I'm going to hold it up to the light. Um that I have going on right here, just to see if we can get the glow to kind of show up. Hold on one second. Let's see, can we see it? I have too many lights on. <laughs> Maybe not. I have too many lights on in this room, so we will have to definitely take a picture after and post it. But how adorable is this gonna be even without that portion? So. The next thing you want to do is you kind of want to place where this might be on their arms for the, um, the bones on the arms. And I have two that I cut here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these down the center. And then let's see. <laughs> Give me just a second. I want to go back and make sure the two little bones are let's see they're at the bottom right oh here's my dog of course she's coming in to try it on so do you think we can get hold on i gotta press it lily um we're gonna give it a few seconds okay are you gonna try it on for me yes yeah do you think we can get the lights off so we can see the glow factor you might have to come turn these off and put us in the dark <laughs> there's one so we've got like two three four more all right, let's do the other arm. Look what I have here. Do you see what I have? Can you come say hi to everybody? Hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you outside playing? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, give me just a second. That's what I love about this stuff, that you can make it, and you can, like, literally wear it. All right, so let's do the second sleeve. And this one is kind of a little bit longer for this um, T-shirt. So definitely would have to resize that, but I think it's cute the way it's turning out so far, and she's gonna love it. Brother's gonna want one, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, watch the cords. All right, so that's ready. And I'm peeling this hot, so it's like pretty instant. Um, guys, if you're crafters and you wanna know. All right, let's see here. Look at that, it just peels right off, and it's on there forever. It's good. All right. So while, I'm gonna give it to her, it's hot, okay? So just let it cool a little bit. Let's put some air in there, okay? And you're gonna go run and put it on for me? Yeah. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Go right over there and go pull it, go put it on. Okay, let's let her put it on. And in the meantime, I'm gonna do my spooky um, little shirt here. So I made a ghost and I'm gonna cut this pumpkin color orange that's also from stalls and this is the ultra weed um let me see here ultra weed heat transfer vinyl and you guys this pumpkin color is my absolute 
favorite for fall. Um, so if you haven't tried or used this, you guys gotta get your hands on some and totally make some pumpkins with it. I know I am. And I actually, oh, I forgot to mention this. I just made for my teachers, um, one of the teachers at my kid's school, one of her like catchphrases to like keep the class, hold on one second, to keep the class like um, focused or like paying attention to her when she's ready to have all their attention back to the room, even when it's not Halloween. One of the things she likes to say is hocus pocus, everybody focus. And so I made her a shirt and it's super adorable. She can wear it year round, but I made it using all of the Saul's Ultra Weed um, vinyl and it came out adorable. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is run my spooky through and then we'll turn out the lights and we'll see what she looks like in the skeleton shirt, okay? So hold on just a second. Oh, you're putting me in the dark before I cut. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Give me just a second. I wanna make sure I got this cutting. Super cute here. All right. Let's send it. You wanna see? All right, come up here. Ready? Let's see. Get in the dark. to show you guys but here's my little ghost okay and I'm gonna use my little weeder tool this is gonna be super adorable especially when I'm like up at the school volunteering as it gets closer um, to Halloween like I could totally see rocking this shirt it's just my style it's not Halloweeny it's got the word spooky so I'm spooky enough right <laughs> and it's cute like I like cute Halloween um, not a big fan of the ghouls and blah, you know? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna line up my little ghost to be kind of like right here, smack dab in the middle, and I'm gonna press it. And my ghost is glow in the dark. So, how cute is that gonna be? Let me go ahead and get my pumpkin word out, or not my, my pumpkin color, but the word I 
cut was spooky. So you can see that here. Oh, and it's done. So let's go ahead and lift that up. That is super quick, by the way, um, especially for this material. Like, this feels so much faster than any other time I've done shirts with other machines, other name brands, and other heat presses. And you guys know I have them all pretty much. And I, I'm really impressed with the speed of this and how it works with the vinyl. So you definitely can't go wrong with it. Okay, so our ghost is ready. Let me just put that out of the way. And then let's go ahead and weed my little spooky word. And I cut this on a pretty big area. So I might have done it a little larger than I anticipated, but that's okay. Like, I think it's still gonna look great on my little ghost here. And you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about. Let me just pull. There it is, it starts your design. I hate when I kind of overshoot how much I need. So I don't like to waste, but when you have a really cute project, you definitely wanna make sure it is one of the things that you have is enough heat transfer vinyl. So, and like, again, this is the ultra weed. I'm not even using the weeder tool and it's just coming right off. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is my favorite vinyl. Um, definitely need to stock up in this and all the colors. They have it in a glitter. They have um, a premium, which has a little bit of stretch to it. But I have to say, like this Ultra Wheat, it's, it feels like it has some little stretch give to it. So you really don't have to fight it when you're working with it. Like it really is um, very simple to use, very well designed. Like they took some time in making sure that they understood how, you know, crafters and apparel decorators use the vinyl and work with the vinyl like every step of the way it's not about just putting it on the shirt it's about the entire process um when it comes to creating cute little shirts so all right so i'm just getting out all the little inserts from the little o's and then i will show you guys this little file that i like i said i just got it off etsy and it has this little um in the y it has a little curvature to it and it has a little cute spider web. So that's about as spooky as this mom will get. <laughs> like I said, I'm all about the cute and not the gory like bloods and guts of Halloween. I like cute little ghosts and pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns and you know, the candy corn, all of that. Although I'm not like a fan of eating candy corn, I just like the way it looks and that's like, a typical like Halloween, I don't know, tribute, I guess. So I know, I know I'm kind of cheesy on that. I digress. All right, so almost done. This is gonna be so adorable once we get it on here. I can't wait to show you guys. Hang tight, I got one little piece here left. This is a really cool tool too. It's really just picking it right up and out of there, which is good. Um, and I mentioned this earlier, if you're joining me, this is the Stahl's Easy Weeder. It's got some weight to it, like in the handle of it. And then check out the hook. Look at that. So new favorite tool right there. Okay, so look at this. It says spooky. I'm gonna just put it right over my little ghost. Right here, let me move my shirt down. So I want to make sure I clear everything on there because I have oh something stuck to it. A little insert. Don't want that. Oh, it's on the back side. Okay, perfect. And then another one stuck. All right, so let's line this up. Oh my gosh, guys, this is adorable. I can't believe it. I'm excited to wear this shirt. Maybe I'll just wear it tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so. Let me go ahead, let's press it. And we'll see what we have. <laughs> so what are you guys been up to? Have you guys been crafting lately? Does anybody make shirts here? Like what are you guys crafting? 
Acton, what's the latest thing you've done? Have you done Halloween yet? Are you guys ready for Halloween? Who's like a big Halloween fan? Are there some big Halloween people here? I'm just curious. Like, are you guys into the spooky stuff? Or are you into like the cutesy part of Halloween? I promised my kids on early release, cause they're all about Halloween. They've seen it in the stores with me when we've like popped in really quick. We've popped into like Dollar Tree. And of course they have like all of the Halloween everything out. And they're like, look, look, look. And I'm like, no. And so we have early release this week and I promised them that we would get out the Halloween bin and they could help me decorate. And they are so excited. And it's not even October, but it's close enough. So, you know, it's not that long. We're going to have the Halloween stuff out. And we've got some pretty cute stuff in our decorations um, stash. So, there we go. Look at this. This is a peel hot, by the way. Um, the Ultra Weed. You can peel it hot, which is great. You don't have to wait a few seconds. So, what do you think of my cute new shirt? <clears throat> Look at my little ghost. Spooky. <laughs> I think this is so adorable. And on this color, the orange really pops off. And it just says all the fall things. But then it has that little Halloween touch. What do you guys think? Do you like this shirt? If you're watching this, like on a replay, I'm definitely going to link down below where I found the SDG files. It was on from an Etsy shop, I can't remember right now. And so I will share that information with you. Let me go ahead and share um, where you can actually get this glow material. Um, oh, and I totally, totally forgot. It's on sale right now. So you can actually get this for 15% off. They gave me a coupon code to share with you guys. If you're interested in getting this material, you want to use the coupon code GLOW at checkout. G-L-O-W. And I believe that that code is good through... I want to say October 30th, but don't quote me on that. Let me double check. Um that okay so hold on i'm going to pull up the line really quick i turned off my computer sound so hopefully um i don't get feedback as i post this because i'm still learning how to do that on facebook let's see here here we go okay so um why won't it work okay there we go here it is let me put that in the comments this is the glow, and you want to use the code GLOW for 15% off, which is really good. Like most places, you don't see that much. Um, but yeah, this is the new glow in the dark, and it's not like that limey color, it's like a true white. And then you saw how it glows in the dark when we turned off all the lights. So definitely check that out. And if you're interested in the Ultra Weed, which is this pumpkin color that I use, this is the yellow that they have. This is like the neon yellow. I was going to make the candy corns. You can totally um, get those as well. The Ultra Weed. Let me check that. Um, I'm going to put that here for you too, okay? Um, Ultra Weed. It's the best vinyl that I have seen in the market in a very long time. And like I've used the glitter, I've used, um, which is another type of the, it's like in the Ultra Weed family, the Saul's family is vinyl. Um, their glitter is great. Their flocking is great. The premium um, plus right here, that's the yellow. It's great. Like every single one of them weeds so well. Um, and they're so easy to work with. It's definitely, um, the best heat transfer vinyl that I have worked with in a very, very long time. And so if you're just getting started with um, making shirts or you kind of order like from all over the place and it's hit or miss, don't waste your time. Just go to stalls, order it. It's almost the same shipping as like two or three days. It's not that long to get the um, you know product in your hands. It just depends on where you live in the United States, but still, Two to three days is not bad considering I've ordered from places and it's taken like a week or two to get something um, when you're looking for like a quality vinyl. And when you order on Amazon, it's hit or miss. Like you're not really sure what you're getting. 
So definitely check out the Ultra Read. I couldn't recommend it more. I have made so much with it in the last two weeks. Um, and it's been so easy and so quick. So definitely. And I think the glow, this white glow, it, I mean, you can't even tell that it's a glow product until you turn off the lights and you're like, whoa. So yeah, let me show you the shirt one more time before I go. And I also posted in this, um, look at that. Little spooky ghost. It's so cute. I definitely think this is more my Halloween speed. Um, so yes, definitely check it out. Check out the press if you're in the market for one. You guys, it's so cute, is it not? Like, look at it. I can't, <laughs> and it's so easy to use. I love it, and it's cute. It matches the craft room. Um, I'm not afraid to like leave this out. Um, I've had a big one in the past, and it's kind of like, whoa, you know, um, scary or whatever and this is not like it's user friendly it's easy it's durable and it does the job very well so check out that i put the link to this in um my first post so we're gonna get busy crafting i have some couple um of ideas of some shirts that i want to make and i will share those with you guys as i get them made and try to get a good real glow in the dark picture um, to share with you guys. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming and watching. And you guys have a great night. Happy crafting.